Hi, hello and welcome. Myself, Vignesh here. In this channel, we will be seeing about stuffs regarding artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, data science, business intelligence, data analytics and lot more stuffs regarding data. To begin with, I had chosen a business intelligence tool called Power BI. We shall learn all end to end about Power BI. For that, let's pass on to our video. All the introduction and installation is what I want to see today. What is Power BI? Power BI is a collection of software services, apps, and connectors that work together to turn your underrated sources of data into a coherent, visually impressive, and interactive insights. It can change the underrated data sources from different data types or data sources into a visually impressive and interactive insights. It is a data visualization and a business intelligence tool that converts data from different data sources to an interactive dashboard and BI reports. It is a business intelligence tool that converts data into a dashboard and a BI reports. These are CSV, different sources of files like Excel, database, and cloud that can be connected to Power BI. Power BI parts. Power BI desktop is a Windows application. Power BI service is an online SAAS, that is Software as a Service platform. Power BI mobile apps is for Windows, iOS, and Android devices that can be used in a mobile. Power BI Report Server is an on premises reporting server that can be established in on prem on any company. The above elements are developed for us to create, share, and consume the business insights in an effective manner for our improvement of the business. Power BI installation. Power BI desktops comes in two versions, that is 32-bit and a 64-bit platform. For that, we can move forward for the installation power steps. I'm going to download the Power BI desktop from the Microsoft Power BI website. There are two options, one is download and another one is the advanced download options. When you click on download, it redirects to the Microsoft App Store so that it can download from the App Store directly. It's loading. This is the advanced download options. Still now the Microsoft App Store is loading here. You can choose the language and then you shall download it. I'm gonna choose English. And these are the details of the Power BI desktop which we are gonna download. The version of it, the date when it when it was published and the file size of the 64-bit and the 32-bit set of file accordingly. And the system requirements for the for the desktop run and the installation steps or instructions.
this is 64 bit setup file of the power bi desktop and that is 32 bit i'm going to download the 64 bit As you can see, the setup file is getting downloaded. Now, I have downloaded the Power BI desktop file and installed it. Let's open it now. This is the initial impression of the Power BI desktop once it is open. This is the first screen which pops up. As you can see, we can log into the Power BI desktop, but we will be needing an official mail ID in order to create a Power BI account. That is a domain based ID, not a normal Gmail, Yahoo, or an Outlook mail ID. This is the first screen after closing the login option this is called the reporting view and there are two more views one is this is the data view and this is the model view where the model is being generated a relationship can be seen this is the home menu bar and this is the insert menu bar And this is the model modeling option this is the view and other is the help this is the what is power ba and installation steps for power ba in the next video i'll be teaching about the data sources available in power ba and how to connect to few of them stay tuned In future, we will be relating data science, analytics, artificial intelligence and many more. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.